quarter life crisis. Pag-usapan natin yan. Meron akong isang friend na lumapit sa akin. Sabi niya, kaka-birthday niya lang daw. No, 25th birthday niya na. And medyo nagkakaroon na siya ng mga moments na naiisip niya kung ano ba yung purpose niya sa buhay. And maybe some of you guys are also thinking of that. No, maybe andito kayo thinking na ano bang purpose ko sa buhay. Maybe ganoon din ang tanong nyo. Or maybe you're just at a crossroads where you know na there's a lot of different options available, a lot of different opportunities out there. Yet, you have this fear na you don't want to go into this these opportunities kasi you don't want to make a mistake. Maybe there's a lot of anxiety. Maybe there's a lot of overwhelmment. Uh, first of all, I just want to assure you that it's completely normal if you are going through these crises, whether it's a quarter-life crisis, a midlife crisis, or just a normal crisis na hindi naman 25 or 50 years old. Uh, but, you know, it's just a crisis in your life na you need to make a decision that you know could get you to your next level or something like that. But I want to assure you na it's completely normal. It's totally fine. And maybe I want to give you a certain perspective of um, a different kind of perspective na baka makatulong sa inyo in dealing with the midlife or the quarter-life crisis. And... Um, Nakuha ko to kasi nung tinanong nga ako sa akin na parang ano bang purpose ko? Paano, paano ko ba malaman ko anong purpose ko? And I think a lot of people have this feeling na uh, kailangan nilang makuha or maintindihan yung purpose nila kasi yung purpose is something na like this big thing, this big major thing na dadalhin na nila for the rest of their life and this is something that they're gonna do for the rest of their lives. Um, for me, purpose is not like that. Purpose is not this big thing na pwede mo i-label sa sarili mo, tas yun ka na forever. I do believe that your purpose evolves. I do believe that your purpose is uh, different from time to time. And I do believe that your purpose is exactly where you currently are. And what do I mean by that? So, for example, nagtatanong ka ngayon kung anong purpose mo sa buhay, di ba? Then maybe, that's your purpose right now. Maybe your purpose is finding your purpose. Maybe your purpose is asking the right questions, asking the better questions in life so that ma uh, laman mo kung anong purpose mo. Maybe your purpose right now is to try things and to experiment things. I feel na dahil din sa social media na pagka-check natin sa phone natin, nakita natin mga 20-year-old, 30-year-old, medyo parang nakakaangat na ibang tao, nakaka-advance na sila, but... And we feel that we should have our life figured out. Uh, but we all have different timelines. Maybe sila, yung quarter-life crisis nila medyo mas napaaga. Kaya na-figure out na nila ngayon kung ano gusto nila. One thing that I know, you know from uh, all the people that I'm coaching uh, in life is that you're never behind, you're never ahead. You're exactly where you need to be. So the moment that you surrender na, ah, okay, ito pala yung purpose ko. At this point in my life, ito ang purpose ko. If ang purpose ko ngayon is to, to f- try and fail and then get back up and try over again, then accept that wholeheartedly. Because when your quote-unquote purpose or your calling uh, comes into your life, ma-realize mo na, ah, okay, now it makes sense kung bakit ko pinagdaanan lahat ng yun. Because at the end of the day, you know, you can only connect the dots moving backwards. Ibig sabihin, may intindihan mo lang lahat ng to kapag binigyan mo yung sarili mo ng oras um, at ng space to kind of reflect on uh, the things that you have done. Pero magagawa mo lang yun kapag meron ka ng ginawa. So instead of worrying about tomorrow, instead of, you know, pinoproblema mo yung sarili mo dahil puro katanong, just enjoy and embrace the... This, these kinds of moments where you are lost and you are confused because at the end of the day, you know, if you're lost and confused, that means you're in, a, in an advanced state because you are uh, in a different zone, not your comfort zone, in a, in a zone where you're, where, where you're going to grow. But that, you know, calls for another video. So, Hopefully, this helps you out. And kung hindi, if you know someone who is de- dealing with a um, uh, quarter-life crisis or any kind of crisis, send mo sa kanila to, baka makatulong. Uh, and give me a follow if you like this or ask me some questions down below so I can answer them. 
or you can check out my YouTube channel. Kasi mas sasagot ko pa tong mas mahaba. Peace.